bored, bored, bored. Sometimes I just get really bored with my music. It's not that I don't love it anymore. I just am so bored. I feel like I'm doing the same things all of the time. The same kind of way my fingers work. The same kind of bits of noise that I tend to make. It just makes me feel a bit rubbish. You know, the constant quest to find something new to do. I usually deal with this by either going and getting out one of my many tune books and just playing anything. I open the book, write it the anywhere, and I just start playing it, which I do find quite fun because they don't sound like me. Everything seems to sound like me than I play. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's, it's, I find it very difficult. You know, I'm always striving for something new and I think that's a bad part of my personality. As I've said before, I do go in lots of phases, you know, and I think that's part of just being a musician and creativity that sometimes you feel really good about creative ideas and sometimes you just feel really rubbish. And I, I've actually, all this week, I've just been feeling a bit rubbish. You know, every time I pick up a concertina, it's like more of the same. Do you ever feel like this? It's tiring. I think lots of people feel like this, actually. You know, the, the strive to keep creating something new. And actually what we've got is the beautiful tradition in front of us. Does it really need to be changed? <laughs> Probably not, but I can't stop it. <laughs> I can't stop changing it. Oh man, and then when I can't, when I keep changing it the same way, I'm like, yeah, it just makes me so bored. I think this blog's even really unfocused because I just can't make up my mind what to do. As I sit here, I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to just play a tune and I'm just going to experiment with it. And, See if I can feel excited by it as I play. Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just play a jig. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just see what happens. Thank you. 
The honest truth about that video is that I actually played about four different ideas. I played a reel with a funny star, I played a jig, and I just, and none of it did anything for me. And I was just going, oh man, what's happening? No ideas. And then I suddenly just put my fingers on my concertina and I just waited to see what happened. I had planned to play that air, which is actually a tune that I wrote many years ago called Forsaken. It's on me and Dave Milligan's first album, The Big Day In. I hadn't really thought about it. It just kind of happened. And then, you know, moments like that, I always find quite special because you just let yourself get totally carried away in the moment. And it, and actually, in many ways, it's what music should be. It just becomes very, very personal. And, uh, that's why we do it. <laughs> See you next week.